The company we will be working with today is Wiggins Hair. Inside your packaging, you will get your wig, you will get some lashes, you will also get an elastic band, two stocking wig caps, you will get an information card, you will also get a satin bag to put your wig in once you're done. You will also get an extra large, extra long silk wrap to tie your hair down with at night. And of course, you're gonna get your wig in a separate plastic bag. This is a 20 inch, 13 by four, transparent, 200% density straight lace front wig. Inside you get three combs, two right behind the front and one on the bottom of the wig. And you also get adjustable straps in the back. Um, the hairline does come pre-plucked. And once again, this is transparent lace. Today we're going for a 90s spritz swoop updo with the pin curves. And we're gonna leave some hair out in the back, you know, WAP inspired, whatever you wanna call it. I learned how to do this style from Lunny B here on YouTube. It's a dude named L-O-N-N-I-E dot B. Cause at first I didn't know how to do this style and I always wanted to, but his video definitely gave me the perfect idea of how to do this. So shout out to you, giving you your credit, period, point blank. So I'm going in with my level 14 Ruby Kisses. I think I used the lightest shade in there and I put that all over the frontal in her cap. I did go ahead and dye this hair jet black off camera and I did it too quick to where I low key turned my lace from transparent to like a little weird color, but honey, I finessed that thing right on out, honey. Y'all know me, I'm the finesse king. So yeah, we just finna get straight into installing this wig. I'm not gonna do much talking on the installing process because the, the main purpose of this video is to understand how to do the style. So yeah, uh, and the adhesive I'll use today is the Hold Me Down by Erica J. We use three layers.
Now let's get into the style. You need to understand where do you want your part and where you want your swoop. She always gets her part on the right side so her swoop will cover like the left side of her face. If you want your swoop to cover the right side of your face, you need to get your part on the left. So get that down pat first. You're gonna take your wax stick and your hot comb and you're gonna set that part into place. And after that, we're gonna uh, separate our baby hairs and just start hot combing the hair in the direction that we're gonna get it to go. So basically, I'm just gonna hot comb everything away from the part but um the hair for the swoop i'm gonna hot comb that for and i'm gonna hot comb that thing flat as i can get it the best swoop comes from when you start with a great foundation so you y'all you gotta use your wax stick and your hot comb you gotta go in there you gotta keep getting it to the gets as flat as possible if you don't want to use the wax stick and the hot comb you can use mousse um and do like a wet mold but uh, i don't do wet molds i prefer to do them dry And now we're gonna cut and mold our baby hairs using our mousse. I like to go ahead and get my baby hairs out the way when I'm doing the style because I'm so particular about my baby hairs. They take the longest. All of my clients will tell you that I put so much time in my baby hairs. So I like to go ahead and get those out the way, get those molded and secured. That way, once I get done doing my style, everything is done. So go ahead and get those out the way.
My baby hairs are now done. Now it's time to start the first part of this style process, which is getting the high ponytail first. So you want to separate the hair that's going to be the swoop, and you just want to take the hair on both sides and put that into a high ponytail. After you wet stick it with the hot comb and everything, it's pretty much already laying flat. So all you need is some freeze spray, you a fine tooth comb or even a brush and a blow dryer on high heat and it's just gonna slick up real nice and good for you. So you wanna go ahead and put that hair into a ponytail. Now, once that's done, now it's time for the hard part. The hardest part of this style, you probably thought it was the curls at the top on the ponytail. It's not. It's getting this swoop, like nice, flat, and sleek. And then you gotta, first of all, you gotta swoop the hair on the face. Then once you get done with that, then you gotta swoop it back into the ponytail. So my best way to explain how to do this is take sections out the swoop and just, you gotta be patient, y'all. I had to stop recording halfway during this swoop part because girl I was getting irritated because this this is the hardest part of the style so just try to look at what I'm doing um once you get like you know your desired sleekness I like to go ahead and blow dry that so it can kind of like stick and don't move and um you just want to get everything swooped on the face first and then um you want to spray some oil shit on your client's hand and then you want to tell them to hold the swoop um the reason why you spray oil shit on their hands is because um if you don't it'll leave like a um a sticky film on the hair so once so once they're holding that soup after it's uh, um after everything is on their face then you are gonna take that hair that's hanging and you're gonna start free spraying it back into the ponytail it probably sounds confusing and y'all it is confusing it's, <laughs> it's it's the most i don't even see how hairstylists did this all day back in the day child i couldn't but yeah just know you got to take your time with this process. And if you're doing this on yourself, child, more power to you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> The soup is finally done and now it's time for the ponytail. You can't just use the ponytail from the wig because it's definitely not thick enough. So you gotta add some hair into it. I'm using some Milky Way um, number one 12 inch. You just need one pack. We're not gluing it around the ponytail. I just stuck a bobby pin through it and we just gonna pin it around the ponytail. It's quicker, it's easier, and it still is secure. You ain't gotta worry about sewing the ponytail on or gluing it on, just bobby pin that thing on and use as many pins as necessary. Remember, this is the wig, this is not your hair, so the pins don't hurt. If you gotta put 100 in there, do what you gotta do, baby. Now, as you can see, that ponytail is thick and that is exactly what we need. So now we're going to separate our first layer out the ponytail. You're just going to take a section, like a 360 section, like all around the ponytail. And we're just going to go by sections. That's how you get the height in the pin curl style. 
you don't, you gotta do it in sections. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second after I get this hair in the back out the way. Do you see how that lace is laid? Girl, stop playing, period. So as you can see, I'm dropping down this section. And y'all don't mind the constant light changes. Uh, I have some um, large windows in my suite. So when the sun shines through, it be beaming. And then when it don't, it gets back, you know, normal. Yeah, just try to stay focused on the style. So for this, you're gonna need a curling iron. You can use a plug-in or a Marcel, you know, do what you gotta do. Uh, I'm using some pop it up spritz. You wanna use spritz, not free spray. You wanna use spritz. Contrary to popular belief, um, spritz is ac actually stronger than free spray. Free spray just sprays out differently, okay? Um, Spritz is very wet. Um, free spray is more like, mm, like aerosol spray type thing. Anyways, so you wanna spritz the crap out of the section of hair and you wanna curl it. And you wanna do that cause when you take it out the curling iron, it's gonna be shaped and formed and it's gonna be like, you know, polished. It won't be no, no, no loose flyaways and everything. And once you take it out the curling iron, you see how it's just like, it looked like a little roller set curl or like rollers. You just wanna pin it to the head. And that's all you're doing. You're just curling and pinning. Like, I thought this style was so hard, like the ponytail part. Y'all, you literally just curl and pin. And now we done painting, honey. She looking like the finest auntie at the Freak Nick. Stop playing with her, period, poo. So now you just want to spritz that. You know, you just want the baby. The more spritz, the better. I promise y'all, my mama used to come home smelling like the whole bottle of spritz, honey. And I used to love that smell for some weird reason. But anyway. 
And then out of that swoop, I didn't tell y'all in the beginning, I did leave like a little piece for like a little bang piece. So we just gonna cut that and bump that real hard. And child, if I wasn't feeling this style, I don't know what I'd tell y'all. I, I think I think I did the, you know, I really wanna curse on YouTube, but you know, you can't do that. But I did, I did the dang thing with this one, period. So now we're just gonna press that back out real quick. You know, I really, like, at, at this point, I was done with that. <laughs> I really didn't care about how the back of the hair looked. But I just pressed that out real quickly and then we gave it like a little long blunt cut and bumped the ends real hard. And child, that was it. And now to give it that old school shine, we're gonna use our lusty pink glosser. Y'all, when I tell you this stuff will have your hair shining like the sun, I love it. I, I don't really use it a lot now because you know it's kind of oily, but child, we wanted this to look fried, dyed, laid to the side. Okay, slick rick. <laughs> okay, child, come through, girl. Come through. Where's Uncle Luke at in the two live crew? Cause girl, period. Period. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn your notification bells. New heat dropping soon. Subscribe, y'all. Get my views back up. Love, y'all.